Uh, what's going on everybody? Ken in here. Where's the camera? There's the camera. I don't know where I'm looking. How you going? What's up? Anybody on? Anybody there? Somebody come play with me. Join along. Say hello. We got a lot to get to here today. Uh, what's up, Robert McMahon, Ryder, Kentucky, Juan Oliveira, Donald Lawrence, Garrett Pina, Kuki, Kuki, Kaki? Hmm, interesting. Jen Eaton, what's up, what's up, what's up? Everybody, how are you all doing today? Um, I'm in a good mood, even though my back feels like a 44-year-old uh, dude. It's back, yeah, anyway. Uh, what's up, Kyle Grigsby? Grigsby? Um, lots going on now. Um, we are pumped. Huge week uh, for the camp coming up here, folks. Lots going on, lots happening. I wanna to get to it all, but I just want most of you guys to get on before I start yapping about it all. Here's the Aquascape Pond, as you know from the title. The turtles are gonna be getting an upgrade. I got a lot to tell you. Uh, you guys have been following along for a while, so um, man, you're gonna love this. Okay, but first, I wanna get a little, uh, get a little housekeeping done, as they say in the biz. Uh, and the first thing is, guys, if you are not yet a Patreon member, or if you are a Patreon member, and join us at the marquee level or above, you're gonna get a free t-shirt for the rest of December. Anyone who joins Patreon at the marquee level or above will get a free t-shirt. So head on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan and uh, we will give you a t-shirt. We'll send it in the mail, you'll get it. It'll be awesome, very cool. So I wanted to get that out of the way. What's up Haley Spinner, how you doing? John McNeil, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, John, I like that you used one of those because um, man, did I work my butt off the last couple of days and uh, unbelievable stuff. So check this out. Oh, Xavier Valdez is sick. Everyone, let's wish Xavier uh, a speedy recovery from whatever he's uh, dealing with. It is the season. Now it has been cold in Florida, believe it or not. I actually wore a jacket this morning. I don't usually like to do that. Okay, so let me, let me show you what we're doing. Uh, so guys, just a reminder, if you go to Patreon, dot com slash camp cannon and join at the the marquee level or above we'll send you a camp cannon t-shirt look at all these rocks i'm gonna flip this people look at the rocks man i moved all these rocks thank you zerbus er appreciate the donation of five dollars all right so as always crocodile kyle comes in in a clutch and helps me out uh we actually got a bunch of rocks uh that were donated to us and uh, so uh, Kyle, of course, there's the tractor, uh, the old pickup truck. I just gave the trailer back to my buddy, but check it out, man. Oh, cookie cake is how I pronounce it. Okay, cookie cake, sorry. Now that I know. Now we are clear, cookie cake. I'll never forget that. And I'll always remember your screen name. Let's talk rocks. Check this out. I'm real proud, people. And, and I'm not trying to brag here, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna YouTube brag a little bit. I moved all these by hand. Uh, yeah, pretty gnarly. So uh, these rocks are not light. Look at this one. This one in particular. This was not easy. And this one kind of jacked the back up a little bit. But uh, I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, we're rocking out over here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but all these rocks are going to look amazing. And I got a shout out to Paul Cafaro. Because I got more of these rocks coming tomorrow. Because good old Paul Cafaro and I, we struck a deal. I get rocks, he gets a surprise. I love the Christmas spirit, don't you? Breathe it in, people. It's December. Christmas is coming. It's time to be good to our fellow man. And uh, if you want to give me a good gift, just get me rocks. I love rock. So all these rocks are going to be assembled by the geniuses at Aquascape who are coming on Sunday. And these guys are going to build a new water feature. Now, here's the deal. Remember when I was talking about um, doing the stream on the other side for the leopard tortoises? Well, I actually had a... Um, can you guys hear me? Can you guys, can you guys hear me? My hands are not on the microphone. My hands are on the joystick that I can't show you. But anyway, here's the deal. So this, this is what's going on, all right? Um, I was going to do a stream, but the problem was... We're going to be building a very, very large pond in February, a swimming pond, a recreation pond, okay? Um, so what's going on is I thought, well, if we build the stream, we got to, in February, trance all over it, move heavy equipment over it. Makes no sense. So I called up Ed Ballou at Aquascape, and I talked to Greg at Aquascape, and they basically said, well, 
uh, that makes sense. We shouldn't build the stream. So I thought, ah, well, these guys probably aren't going to build me anything this time around. But Ed goes, so what else do you want? I was like, what? He goes, yeah, what else? We'll build something else instead. So I'm like, I don't want to be spoiled here, guys, but I had been kicking around this idea. So look, we're actually talking about tapping into this pond, the existing aquascape pond. We're going to have a waterfall, biofalls come down here. I mean, actually, I'm taking suggestions. I really don't know what the guys are going to do, but I have extra liner. I got a bunch of rock. So I know that we have a biofalls coming. Maybe we'll make a stream through here that's going to open up into another pond. We're going to put another pond right down in here. What do you guys think? Another pond, but it's all going to be part of the same complex. Okay, we're going to do the same complex. So the animals are going to have way more room to roam. And if any of the pink belly side necks, which can be an aggressive species, if those turtles uh, want to get away from each other, now these guys are going to be able to get up and walk away, walk around, which I often find them basking, believe it or not. I find pink belly side necks basking on this rock. So it's insane. They wander so far from the pond. But now imagine this fence will come out further and we'll have another pond right here. How sick is that gonna be? Two ponds in the front yard, connecting it together. Uh, Aquascape, those guys are incredible, man. I, I, feel like the, I feel like a spoiled rich kid. Believe me, I ain't rich and I didn't grow up it. But man, I am sure lucky to have the friends I have in the uh, animal care industry and water gardening because these guys are just great. So Sunday I'm gonna record all that and you'll see what we build Tuesday which will be awesome. Uh, and then other exciting news, if any of you guys are out there, if you live in Florida and you wanna to go to an amazing conservation event, so many of you ask Kenan, how do I get involved in what you do? What can I do to help support these animals? Well, we've got something, I've got an idea for you. If you're in Florida and you're not busy on Saturday, go to Crockfest at Gatorama in Palmdale, Florida. It is going to be awesome. The best crocodile conservationists and biologists are going to be there. Now, I'm going to be there as well. I'd love to meet as many of you as I possibly can. I'm going to bring the old camera and I'm going to produce, uh, we're going to produce a video for you that you'll be able to see Sunday of what went down at Crockfest. And I'm really, really excited because Ram Whittaker from India and Graham Webb from Australia, two renowned uh, just conservationists and uh, crocodile uh, experts are gonna be there. And this Saturday's event is benefiting the Indian gharial, uh, which is just an incredible species of crocodilian. Uh, they are under threat, of course, because of human encroachment. Um, there's actually mafias in India that are controlling the uh, uh, they, they get sand. They're taking sand from the beaches where these crocs nest and they're selling the sand to make concrete and to put into construction products. And there's an actual mafia. Uh, so it's super gnarly stuff that those folks are fighting against. The gharial needs help. It needs to be saved. So that's what we're going to do. That's what Crocfest is all about. So if you're interested in getting involved in, in this kind of conservation or want to learn more about reptiles, want to meet more people that are like-minded, you have to go to these kind of events. Crockfest is going to be good. Where else are you going to be able to see two of the world's most renowned herpetologists uh, hanging out in the United States? I'm very excited to meet both Rom and Graham Webb, uh, and I'll do a little sit down with them, uh, and you'll see that video on Sunday. So that's what we got going on. I'm pretty excited. Let's look at the pond. I can't believe I'm going to have another one. Whatever these guys decide to build me, I'm going to be extremely happy with whatever they give me. Uh, as it is a gift. Um, but look at all the cichlids. How amazing is that water? Um, Christopher Supper, yes, I, uh, Supper, I believe it is. I believe it is. Hey, Christopher Supper reminds me, I have another, oh, I got guys here and they're using a drill, sorry. Um, I got another important uh, thing I wanna talk about. And uh, here's the deal, guys. Sunday, new Godzilla King of the Monsters trailer is gonna be out. I want you guys to go check it out online. Uh, it'll be on YouTube. I can't wait. Um, and I'm even thinking about when that movie comes out, I may go live from the movie theater and talk about Godzilla King of the Monsters because that is the reason I love reptiles. It was all Godzilla's fault. Anytime you see a dude 
in a rubber suit trampsing on uh, miniature cities, I get pretty excited. So there you go, people. There you go. So check that out on Sunday. And if you haven't already seen the really cool new figures um, of what the monsters in the movie are going to look like, they look amazing. They are very, very um, authentic to the original series, yet modernized. Uh, but they really did take from the original monsters, so I'm really excited. Uh, so there's my Godzilla nerd stuff, okay? Uh, Godzilla Forever, Joseph Miller. Yes, Godzilla Forever. He's my favorite superhero, if you must know. I mean, I love Wolverine and the Hulk and all that stuff, but something about Godzilla, a, a force of nature that is unstoppable. It's just the coolest thing ever. Let's look at the fish. All right, and let's get to, uh, let's get to everyone's questions. A lot of you guys are hanging around, but look at how nice this water is, huh? This is an aquascape pond. I can't believe they're gonna build me another one. Maybe I can convince them to give me another one the same size. <laughs> Uh, but whatever, I got the liner. We may be able to do it. Can you imagine two ponds like this with the animals just wandering back and forth? I think it's amazing. Um, it's going to be cool. Look at there are the Oscars guys. They're hiding under the log. It's been a little chilly. There they are. They're just kind of hiding right there. There are three Oscars in here, and they really have done a fantastic job of regulating. Uh, what do you mean what happened with the sanctuary? Hassan, the sanctuary is going, man. We're doing it. Uh, what's up, East? The Beast Challenges, incubator for Herman's Tortoise. Uh, you can use the ZooMed uh, incubators, uh, but if you want to get more profesh, I'll show you what to do. Uh, you want to go to Sea Serpents. Good old Sea Serpents, my buddy Chris at Sea Serpents. Okay, we're going to go inside. Lots of construction going on inside. Kate, Kate has just gotten crazy with redoing this house, people. So that's what Kate's doing. So here we go. Matthew Owens, what's up, bro? Uh, we're inside the incubator room. Okay, here are the new Rhino and Lewis Iguanas. It's going to be echoey in here, guys, so hang tight. Do you see how mental they are? Um, I'm also going to be building their new thing next week, too. Uh, but here's what I wanted to show you. Um, I love the Sea Serpent incubators, okay? They make them in different sizes. If you are serious about reptiles and, and breeding them and incubating eggs and doing all this, then you have to get one of these incubators. Um, I am also going to do a video in the future making an incubator with a good friend of mine, Paul Vanderskow. I uh, just haven't gotten up to Tampa to do that. Let's take a peek inside the incubator today. I did have a little action going on uh, a few days ago. Let's see how the little one is doing right now. Let's see. Oh, he's doing good. Let me flip you. Okay, so check it out. We have a beautiful baby cherry head. Look at that coloration, huh? Beautiful baby cherry head tortoise. Is this amazing or what? So amazing. So I keep them in here uh, for about a week and let that yolk absorb a bit. Then I'm going to soak them. I soak them daily and I'll even put them on wet paper towel. Uh, and then the little guy will get to go into the nursery and uh, so amazing. And once this guy, probably after the new year, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be uh, offering this animal up for sale. Uh, cherry heads are $250 plus shipping and shipping is $65 uh, outside of Florida. Okay, so it's $65 flat rate shipping uh, anywhere to the United States. Uh, Primo Supremo, what's up, man? Thank you very much for your contribution. I do appreciate that. Uh, so there is a little guy right there. Um, we've got a, a lot of cherry head eggs. I've got probably 70 cherry head eggs incubating right now. All these are cherry heads, and we have some red foots and some elongated as well. And pretty soon, the good old sulcatas will be doing it. We got a uh, nice donation from Stacy Willingham. And she says, thank you so much for mentioning my son Tyler and how he wants to open a reptile sanctuary when he gets older. Because of you, you made his day. Can't stop talking about it. Thanks. Love your videos. Well, thank you, man. Uh, Miss uh, Stacy, thank you very much. Didn't mean to say man. I'm on the uh, very informal mode right now because I'm so geeked out at everything that's happening. But thank you. Really do appreciate it. Joseph Miller, thank you so much. MegaWald82, thank you so much. I would love to get Black Dragons. Would love it, man. Um, I got to talk to my buddy Ty Park because those are just amazing lizards. So here they are. Here are the rhinos. And, and I don't want to get too close. They've been moving around and making a mess. I don't know how well you guys can see them. The male is extremely skittish, and I don't want him to bash his face up. I'm going to be putting them outside next week. 
I'll probably film a video with the build. I got uh, someone helping me out with a cage. Uh, so there you go. Um, so the, the good old, here are the little side. These guys are okay, they're doing well. Uh, so everyone's good. I just, I hate coming in, you hear that? Ooh, I just hate when they bash like that. So what I'm gonna do to combat that bashing, okay, to combat the fact that those guys are very skittish and what my personal experience has been with my other rhinos and other um, cyclora is I need to make an enclosure that is large enough for me to get in. And I'm gonna go spend time with them. I'm gonna go sit in there. I'm gonna bring some banana. I'm gonna just bribe them basically. So I'm gonna get those guys um, some bananas, spend time with them, make sure that they are happy and make sure that they view me not as a predator, but as a source of food and as a friend. We must become friends with the animals. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna sit down, I hope you don't mind. I, uh, my back is acting up a little bit, so I'm gonna relax because I'm pretty sure gonna have to be lifting things on Sunday. Busy, busy weekend. Oh, and the other thing is Tom's coming down Tuesday. So Tom will be here, we're gonna be filming. Brian Barcheck will be in the neighborhood. Maybe we'll do a video with that lunatic. Um, as always, you know, we're gonna try and wrangle Crocodile Kyle, who's been running around like a chicken with his head cut off. I don't know if he's in Disney or not, but I'm supposed to see him tomorrow, but I don't know. It's been tough to see my buddy Kyle, uh, but I'll certainly be seeing him at Crocfest where we'll be able to chat with him a little bit. Now guys, um, I am gonna make an announcement. I'm really excited. Here's another announcement. So much in this live. Um, you know, so Kyle and I, as you know, you may have heard that we were gonna call the sanctuary the Jupiter Exotic Animal Sanctuary. However, we both thought that name was a little vanilla. I think we could do better. So I was tasked by Kyle with coming up with a better name. And good old Kate and her sister Casey uh, we're hanging out with me and I basically said we need to come up with a better name and so we started messing around as far as throwing names out and uh, here's what we're doing we are calling it thank you Devin we are growing I, I, my beard is growing it's about the only hair I can grow that and my nose hair but uh, I'm off track so anyway we were thinking of a new name right so um, basically we came up with this are you ready is everyone listening if you're a Camp Kennan Army Channel member then you know it already, but here we go. It is going to be called The Wreck, <laughs> which is kind of fun. So it's gonna be called The Wreck. Now you can think of it like it's a wreck, or you can think of it like a recreation hall, um, but here's what Wreck stands for. It's W-R-E-C-C, -C, The Wreck. And it stands for World Reptile Education and Conservation Center. So that's gonna be the name of our place. We got the website all, all bought. It's gonna be so cool. It's the wreck. So whenever you hear me refer to the wreck, um, hopefully I'm referring to our new reptile center and not an accident that I was involved in. So it's gonna be cool, guys. Uh, the wreck, I'm really excited. It's very, we're pretty, um, uh, I guess, a little ostentatious by saying world reptile, but you know what? We have big goals. Our goal, Kyle and I, is to create a facility where people can come on a guided tour and see how to care for these animals, uh, to learn about these animals, and to see conservation in action. Uh, we wanna work with different zoos, we're gonna be working with different conservation organizations. Our goal is to provide a living ark, educate the public, and then if, you know, if we have the support from you guys, we wanna give back, we want to protect habitat abroad and then with the animals that we raise at the wreck, in partnership with other conservation organizations, we want to get those animals back out into their habitats. That's our goal. So we are going to be relying on the hobbyists, the conservationists, and the scientists and zoo community. That's the goal. We got to get everyone together. I was a hobbyist. It's people like you that care about these animals that are going to help us keep these animals on Earth well into the 21st century. So there it is. The wreck. All right, guys, we're gonna have logos coming out soon. We're gonna have uh, all sorts of cool stuff. And Camp Kennan is sponsoring the wreck. So it's the wreck sponsored by Camp Kennan. Uh, and all of our YouTube friends are gonna be able to film there. Um, so you're gonna be hearing a lot about it as the weeks move on and hopefully years. 
Uh, so we're really going to get moving right after that. Uh, very cool. So, all right, guys. How exciting. I love it. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me every Thursday and watching all the videos and dealing with the microphone issues. We're working on that as well. I got Tom working on that microphone, new microphones for us. We're going to be doing new things with the podcasting and the live. So it'll be really cool. Um, so that's what I got going on. Okay. So to wrap it up and summarize, go to patreon.com slash camp If you sign up, at the marquee level or above, you'll get a free t-shirt. You're helping us out. I uh, really appreciate that. Going to Crockfest on Saturday. New pond build coming up Sunday. I hope you guys will watch the videos. Um, Tuesday's video will be Sunday's build. And Saturday, I will, Saturday, you'll be able to see what happened to Crockfest on Sunday. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. You rule. Okay. You guys rule. Um, we're going to really turn things into another dimension man once we get the wreck set up we're going to be doing a lot of work to camp kennan this place will always exist it is of course the mothership of ideas so it's the proving ground for me and uh you guys you guys rule so thank you so much i'm in a good mood got a lot of fun things going on i hope you are all having a great holiday season uh whatever religion you may be i hope you guys are celebrating and being good to your fellow man and women uh and that's cool man that's it but most importantly, let's be kind to the animals that share our lives. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's it. I'm going to sign off. Bye, Xavier. Feel better, buddy. Uh, cookie, cookie cake. See you later. Uh, thank you so much, super fans. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Raven YT, Jen Eaton. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Alyssa the Leopard Tortoise. Leopard Girl. Excuse me. Bye-bye. Uh, bye, Christopher Supper. See you, buddy. Bye, Christian Wojnik. You must be, a, I think that name is somewhat Viking. I don't know. Uh, bye, PC Gaming. Bye, Scott Hayden Gree. Bye, 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 everyone. We'll see you later, guys. And I leave you with this crystal clear aquascape pond. And we're going to zoom in on the blue moray. Look, the blue dolphin. There it is. The humphead. I love that guy. He's such a jerk, though. He chases everyone around. But what are you going to do? Maybe we'll have another pond where I can put more fish. Woohoo! See you guys.